That's that's right. And right now we have clearing skies and sunshine, a far cry from the way it was at nine o'clock this morning when there was a heavy downpour swamping the runway. Witnesses say they saw the plane touch down, then it just kept going. I saw the fire trucks and then I saw what looked like uh, the front end breaking on the plane and just pavement peeled up in front of the plane. Passengers on board Southwest Flight 278 snapping pictures along the way, getting a first look at where their plane ended up off the runway, unaware that minutes before the pilot and tower were making plans for a potential crash. This audio recorded by liveatc.net. Just be advised there will be a lot of emergency vehicles exiting from uh, Millionaire. En route from Oakland to Burbank, rain was heavy. The pilot warned the 122 passengers on board, a short runway, wet conditions. Then mud started hitting the windows and then you could see smoke and water and I started noticing the plane going sideways. And, um, and then we came to a stop and I noticed that we were right up against the retaining wall. We didn't know until someone pulled it up on the Google Maps and said, oh, there's a street 10 feet away. Skid marks visible on the pavement. The aircraft was stopped by a bed of crushed concrete called EMAS, installed in commercial runways for just this scenario. To be honest, my first thing was like, I have to go to work, I want to get off, and you know, I didn't realize how serious it was. Scores of flight cancellations, but no injuries. Now that I'm out, I'm like, I'm like okay, I'm just thankful that, you know, no one got hurt and that nothing was worse. The airport is operating now with one runway open. The, some flights are getting in and out, but that plane is still entrenched in runway 826. The airport has to get that plane out, pull it out, and then clean up the runway of any debris before they can open up that runway. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.